What's up, YouTube? Eddie here with FSL Landscaping again. Um, didn't get a chance to film this morning, but uh, I went and sprayed a couple of yards this morning, and uh, you know, you got to try to beat that heat. You don't want to really uh, do these treatments on your yards uh, anything above 85 degrees. I mean, it's just not it's not safe for the yard. You can actually do a lot more damage than good. But I did also make a video of the equipment that I use and uh, the equipment that I, my spray setup machine that I made and uh, designed, built, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> But, uh, and also I made a video, uh, a little, I added in the video of some of the products that we use to treat our yards and, uh, to get rid of some of the pesky weeds that you might have in your yard. Um, you know, like I said, I'm doing this for information, uh, for the do-it-yourselfers that doesn't know what the pros use. And, um, this is what we use. I'm not saying this is what all the pros use, but this is what I use in my company. And, um, yeah, I hope you like and subscribe to the video if you like it like and subscribe thank you enjoy the video all right so here's what we've done today um excuse the mess been working a lot but, um making my own spray tank system here using parts off of well right here we got um tongues off of a mobile home right here we got our hose and reel that's off of another spray rig we got there i don't know if you can see there or not but there's a 65 gallon just a round oval Tank we got, picked up at Tractor Supply. I think it's like a, probably the most expensive thing we got. $169. What's up, YouTube? Eddie here again. Um, what I wanted to show y'all here today is my my spray setup. Spray tank setup that I made myself. Um, the actual frame and everything is made off of a tongue off of a mobile home. I just cut it all down, watered it up the way I wanted it. Um, the reel here itself, I bought off of YouTube. I think I give like $50 for it with the hose and all, and that's like a 500 foot hose. The <laughs> nozzle itself, um, I think I got it at a uh, tractor supply, 40 bucks. The motor, I bought it for about a hundred bucks at, um, Northern Tools, I think it was. The tank tractor supply 65 gallon tank and if you can see here i did all the plumbing i got my cutoff valve here one inch pipe running from the tank to the motor then fed to the hose itself but yeah and it does the job i mean it's a lot better than backpack spray in the yards and saves a lot of time and it will you can spray quite a few yards with a 65 gallon tank but I want to set a, I want to do a video on a few of the weeds that we're dealing with right now here in North Carolina. And we're in kind of like the transition uh, state where you can have basically two types of grass. You can have your warm seasons or your cool seasons, which is the um, fescue. And then you have uh, your Bermudas and St. Augustines and Zoysias. But anyway, here's a few of the weeds that I found that I was just wanting to show y'all that i um, typical dealing with right now and how we take care of them. This right here is a um, nut sedge. See that a lot right now, yards. This right here is crabgrass. You can see how it's got the little crabby look to it. And these right here are some broad leaves that I picked up, clovers, you know, dandelions, uh, dollar weed, hen but stuff like that. And I'm gonna show y'all what we use to take care of these certain types of weeds. First, I wanna show you the what to get rid of these broadleaf weeds, or what I use. We use a three-way from Lesco, selective herbicide. It's a three-way uh, that kills, that's uh, selective for broadleafs, which is all your clovers and stuff like that, anything with a broadleaf on it. And I always use the late, I always go by the label. Don't never um, just pour it in there or anything. Um, most of them say 1.5 per gallon, 1.5 ounces per gallon, but I always read your labels just to be on the safe side. And that's what I use for like the broad leaves. This is Drive XLR8, and this is what you would use for your crabgrass. That will take care of your crabgrass. 
your nut sedges they make several different things for net uh, nut sedges i don't have any uh on hand right now we use the last of it today uh sled uh sledgehammer is one of them um they just make so many of them you just have to go to your local dealer and see you know what they have but if you want to knock them all out something that takes care of all of them this stuff right here will knock them all out it's kind of expensive but it does the trick it works on everything seen here all your broad leaves your crab grasses your nut sedge Q4 turf herbicide. This stuff right here does the trick. It's kind of pricey, but if you want wanting to take care of a yard completely, um, that's just a bad weedy yard, you want to knock out most of them right off the get-go, this right here is what you want to use. Works great. Also, you always want to use a surfactant. A surfactant, it kind of helps the chemicals stick to what you're trying to kill like whatever kind of weed you're trying to kill i always use a surfactant and i use a little bit of this right here it's a late at arm let's go 12 zero zero most of the time when you use these kind of chemicals and stuff to kill weeds and stuff it won't it tends to turn the yards yellowish like a yellowish tint and if you mix up some of this right here with it with your killers it usually turns the yard green or it doesn't turn it, it doesn't, I'm not gonna say that it turns your yard green. It it can and will if you use it just by itself. But when you're using the selective herbicides, it keeps it from yellowing as bad. But uh, this stuff right here is great if you want them real pretty green yards. And um, if you've got something like the Bermuda grasses and stuff like that, and the zoysias, you don't wanna use none of those products I just showed you. Them is basically for fescues. You want to use this Celsius, Celsius WG. Kind of expensive, maybe a bear, but if you've got a Zoysia, a Bermuda yard, this stuff right here does the trick. But yeah, I just wanted to show y'all my little my setup. Um, you know, it doesn't cost a didn't cost me a fortune to do, and this is basically, I mean, a few hundred bucks. And I mean, to buy these same kind of setups, I was looking and they're like $2,500 to $3,000. And uh, you can see here, I welded this on here because my muffler's right there. But I mean, in order to line everything up, I had to do that so it kept from burning this. And um, you know, I seen that on there. So I had to put that plate on there to keep it from uh, burning through my tank. But yeah, that's my spray setup. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you for you do it yourselfers. And uh, for anybody that's not a do-it-yourselfer, anytime that you're doing something like this, you want to have your core and uh, ornamental spray license. If not, you can get you a serious fine if you're spraying people's yards for compensation. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. And that's a, a cheap way of actually making your own spray setup. And this is, this is my old Ford. It's my spray truck. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helps you out.